Hey everybody, welcome back. We are watching some Walking Dead. We are on, I forgot to look, we are on season 10, episode 15. Wow, are we really on episode 15? This one is called The Tower. And I was trying to think of the, the last thing we saw. Daryl and Negan, it's been a while. I think it's been two weeks since I've seen it. Daryl and Negan have an understanding. Daryl knows that Negan was working with Carol, even though Carol hasn't confirmed it yet. Carol was off doing something, but now she's returned to the group, I think. I think that's where we're at. I don't think we've moved further than that. Hi. What you doing, beautiful? This is Buddy, if you haven't met her. She has no squeaker. I, I take that back. Her regular cry has no squeaker. But occasionally she gets the ow, ow, squeaks. <laughs> her vocal cords are messed up. They've been messed up since she was a baby. She's one of my feral cats. Purdy, surely you've met her by now, is down here. So, Eugene, and I can't remember who else, they're in one of the cities? Wasn't there somebody, there's somebody that they, that, I don't think they jumped out in front of them, but appeared before them, kind of 80s style, if I remember correctly, and we don't know if they are friend or foe, so that's about all I can remember. I think that's where we're at. Uh, I don't think we can be further than that. Oh, e Eugene's on his way to meet Jitterbug, Sapphire, something like that. So they're on their way to West Virginia, I believe. So um, I don't know if they're in Winchester or another big city, but they're they're in some city and came across some people. So, okay, let's go ahead and get to it. Oh, and that's where we're starting. Who are you? With the dangerous part pointed at you. See? That's for attacking. I like her. The other way? That's for hello. We were just admiring your displays. Are they yours? Oh, that's right. Crap, sorry. I forgot. This kind of, uh, this scene reminded me of, um, the original stand, which the other stand hasn't come out yet, but, um, in the Stand mini series, um, there was a town that, oh, what was his name? It wasn't Moon, but he spelled everything M O O N. He it took all the mannequins and had scenes and that kind of stuff. And there were scenes as they were going through this town. And so it reminded me of that. And I don't know if that's where they got the inspiration from or not, but I think um, I Am Legend also does something similar. Uh, with the mannequins and stuff. So a little bit of a theme there. Different types of apocalypses. Is that supposed to be a joke? I don't know. I mean, I never hallucinated before, but there's a first time for everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, That's true. Uh, <laughs> I've been on my own for over a year and it totally sucks. It she seems strange that she wouldn't have run into anybody else. I'm Juanita Sanchez, but I never liked the I like yet. her. You can call me princess. I hope she's a good one. Princess. Because queen makes me sound old and pretentious. <laughs> what sort of mission? Uh, that's our business. Well, let me at least show you the best way. I'll let her join. Thank you. Oh, come on, why not? Watch her be a bad guy. Watch how helpful I can be. Don't shoot the horses. <laughs> Yumiko is going to have it out with her. Damn. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I say absolutely not. What I say take her. <laughs> thank you, thank you. She is a little crazy, I isn't she? What happened? Two, if I'm lucky, then he'd still be left to kill me anyway. So why even try? <laughs> Assuming Eugene is the one to kill her. Because I have all those in the market for a new set of wheels, follow me. 
Watch it be full of sports cars. Selfish. <laughs> Where are we? Is this Alexandria? Oh, the whispers. That's right. I forgot they breached everything. We got some different locations going on. I wonder what hospital this is. Or supposed to be. Jerry. Diana. Diane. Diana. Is a plan to end this. One I think you'd like. Who is he talking to? Oh, is he talking to Michonne? Michonne. Can you hear okay. Me? He doesn't know that she's not coming back. Michonne. Well, maybe he does. Was that Omega? I can't remember her name. You're going to go to Oceanside? Aaron and, um, what's his name? What are they doing? I don't know if he saw him or not. Theta would play it low key as to not give his position away. Kitty kitty. It's a tabby too. Sorry about your mom. Okay, so it wasn't her. You miss her? No. Not as much as she misses Henry. Oh, maybe he didn't see. Is it Dale? Show me. He's going crazy. not even her voice. I think they're going towards Oceanside. Not yet. We'll stay on them. If anything changes, we'll send word. Okay, so I was right. Cuatro. Is it a minefield? Let's figure out what she's up to first. Watch where you step. What do you particularly mean by the term mines? Thought it was a minefield the way she was counting. Why would you keep that from us? I just didn't want you to worry. I told you we couldn't trust her. I walk <laughs> this all the time. It's no big deal. I got the route right up here. They stop in the middle, so I kind of lost count. I, I just need a minute to think. Eugene knows where she was at. Safely, or I'll kill you myself. Anyone have an extra canteen? <laughs> I hope they keep her. I like her. She's not dead. She's not. Oh, they still don't know where Connie is. It's not right. It's possible. <laughs> I mean, yeah, basically a big rat. Look, I, um, <laughs> I just they are. Say, We're running out of time on multiple fronts. Fence and stability being the most pressing. They'll set off all the mines for them. We should be good from here, guys. <laughs> Make sure you follow her footprints. <laughs> the question is, when they get to the car, how are they going to get the car to wherever they're going? Try to spot things that don't belong. If they have to get to the car this way. Come on. One of the whispers. Don't know which one though. I see that now. Yeah. I think she's being genuine. I think they need to keep her. You're hard to love. So maybe it's me. Maybe I deserve this. And I've been told I'm hard to love. I have an all too familiar sense of how you feel. He's going to hug her. Okay, maybe not hug. That's better. Decisions. You do have access to those wheels, correct? <laughs> Because he might kill you otherwise. <laughs> if you drop the knife, I'll think about it. Where your Pull it out of her. A few miles east. Those people. Pretty easy. I couldn't stay there. She's the one that heard Beta going crazy. What? 
She's not going to be a guardian. Maybe she has a family. Oh, Judith, don't get sentimental now. Was the broken limb to make them think they went that way? Or... Oh, kitty, kitty. That was an actual dead one talking to him. Quote, talking to him. They're too close to the horde. How has the horde not been able to see them? If they can see the horde, the horde can see them. Yeah, don't kill Aaron. And what's his name? I don't know why I can't remember the cute one's name. Hey, we're at the garage. 15 miles per hour is a significant increase over walking. It's Gotta okay. agree. It's easier on the feet, too, till you go uphill. And if they're heading to West Virginia, there's a lot of uphills. I want you to know that. And you had it. Every Invite I... her along! Yes! 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> and clothes and a cool sphere and some candy? This candy? <laughs> Where RJ was. Oh, um, Judith. Heart of gold. Because maybe he'd be too. Not yet. So they're at the tower already. Where's Aaron and the other one? Uh, so they found the tower and where everybody's at. We don't know if Aaron and what's his name are still alive. Is it Nick? Not Nick. I think it starts with a D like Dale or something like that. I can't, I can't remember his name. I'm going to have to look it up. We don't know if they're alive or not. If they know that everybody was at the tower, then they must have tortured them a bit to find out. So we know the plan did not go as expected. They were hoping to lure them to Oceanside, it sounds like, where they have more reinforcements to kill them or something like that, or at least run them into the ocean or something. Too bad you guys can't see her face. <laughs> She gets that dopey look on her face. I'm not sure what the mission was for Kelly and Carol, other than to get some electronic parts that apparently were missing. I can't place the guy who asked Carol to go on the mission. I can't place him. I can't remember his name. I can't remember the context that we met him. I mean, he looks familiar, but past that, I can't remember. Lydia was not with the pack. At first, I thought she was with the Horde, but uh, she's not. So Lydia, it, it feels like she doesn't want to give herself permission to mourn her mother because of how evil her mother was and the terrible things that her mother did to the people that she loved, Lydia loved. And so I think she was having a hard time giving herself permission to mourn her. And Negan was the one giving her permission However, she is right in that people try to tell us how to mourn and what we should feel and, and that sort of thing. And so on top of all the mixed emotions, she's got anger about everybody, about feeling pressure from everybody to mourn her mother. Also, this love-hate for Negan right now, because Negan was the one that she got along with. Um, but he is the one that killed her mother, so got some love-hate going on. I am glad that Yukimo, Yuk Yukimo, uh, I can't say it without looking at it, Yukimo invited Princess <laughs> to go along with them. I love Princess's personality and, and all that kind of stuff. I am hoping she's not a bad guy. <laughs> Because it is awfully strange for her to be alone and nobody to be around. You would think people would come in to at least get supplies. So, because our gang has done that. They've gone into D.C. and other towns in order to get supplies. So, how in a year has nobody else ever walked into this town? 
and I think it's a small city at the very least, if not a large city, I think it's probably Winchester. Winchester's in Virginia still, but on the going towards West Virginia. So that's why I'm thinking that, but we'll probably never really know where they're actually located at. But I'm glad that she uh, decided to invite her. I wonder if Ezekiel will slip up or somebody else will slip up and call him king in front of Princess. <laughs> so I think that's it. I think that's all I can think of on that one. Um, I enjoyed the episode, but I feel lost at the same time. <laughs> We made some forward motion, but we don't have any answers to anything. And I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> so thank you for joining me on this one. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.